Hi, dear students, welcome back to AA and Python series. In our previous lecture, we have learned problem, problem solving techniques, and algorithm in detail. A problem is a puzzle or is a task that requires logical thinking and planning to solve it, right? And problem solving technique like modular approach or divide and conquer approach and algorithm. Algorithm is one of the planning tools uh, that takes what step by step to solve a problem, right? Yes. So today we have another very important as well as interesting topic for discussion. It is flowchart, right? Flowchart is, of course, we know it is one of the planning tools like uh, algorithm, decision tree and pseudocode. So algorithm is one of the most simple uh, planning tools available in programming or in problem solving, right? Yes. So let's uh, move forward flowchart that's a topic for discussion and when you get something when you when you're going to learn something the best way to approach or the best uh, approach is of course uh, raising three questions like what is it why we want to learn it or okay why uh, it goes like this right yes then how how can we do this so what why and how so just by fixing uh, these three questions or these three keywords we will be getting everything about that particular concept. So here the concept is flowchart, right? Here the topic is flowchart. So let's look at flowchart in detail. So what is a flowchart? So, okay, when you're getting a new word, how to, how to define the word? Just by knowing the meaning of the word itself, you can define it, right? You can explain it. So flowchart, just reverse the term, flowchart, chart flow, right? But it's not a simple, what? Simply it's not a chart flow, a chart, that shows the flow of solving a problem. That's what flowchart is. Hope you get it. A chart that shows steps for solving a problem. That is what flowchart is. And in uh, algorithm, we have seen algorithm is a step-by-step -step instructions written in English or written to solve a programming problem, right? We have seen uh, algorithm for adding two numbers. Start in what input or accept a comma b then c equal to a plus b then display c or print c then stop right so this is in textual format or algorithm is in textual format or text format right but flowchart is in what diagrammatic representation right which uses graphical notation so graphical representation which is in the form of graphical representation or we do represent uh, what step by step instructions to solve a problem graphically with the help of graphic symbols that's it okay so yeah moving forward so we'll be fixing what is a flowchart why to use flowchart and how to use flowchart and we'll be seeing one example okay uh, example uh, uh, what constructing a flowchart for multiplying two numbers right yes so what is a flowchart we have already seen what a flowchart is flowchart is a chart that shows or chart showing what steps to solve a problem what kind of problem problem is a terminology very much associated with programming so programming problem right yes so a chart that shows the flow of solving a problem that is what flow chart is so that that's a normal definition right that's a normal definition and uh, okay that's for uh, the understanding uh, that's for simply for the understanding okay then here is the exact definition flow chart it is a chart that graphically represent the, the detailed series of steps to solve a programming problem okay what a flowchart is a chart that graphically represent what do you mean by graphically represent with the help of graphic symbols like okay you can see uh, some of the symbols right what ellipse okay parallelogram rectangle right these are some of the graphic symbols so with the help of these symbols we do represent the flow of execution or what the steps to solve a problem that's it okay so it is a chart that graphically represent the detailed series of steps what, what do you mean by detailed series of steps? we cannot skip or we cannot miss any of the steps right in in algorithm we have seen it is a step by step instruction or we can say it's a step by step instruction or a detailed series of instructions so just by skipping the second step we cannot move forward right yes so we cannot miss it is a detailed series of step or steps to solve a programming problem Hope you understand the definition, right? It is a chart that graphically represents the detailed series of steps to solve a programming problem, right? Yes. So that's an official definition, okay? Yes. Then uh, we have some more uh, add-ons, points, okay? It is a pictorial representation of algorithm. So it has connection with algorithm. You know how to construct algorithm, right? 
we will be writing a step by step instructions to solve a programming problem and we have already seen it is in textual format text format but uh, flowchart is in graphical format okay so it's a pictorial representation of algorithm and it is a diagram that represents an algorithm flow workflow or process okay actually it shows what it's a diagram it is a diagram here is a diagram right it is a diagram that represents what steps to solve uh, the problem or uh, it shows a process or workflow right or algorithm right it is a graphical representation of algorithm that's it right yes so okay that's about what a flowchart is then we will be looking at why to use flowchart why to use flowchart why we are using flowchart just like algorithm flowchart is also one of the planning tools right one of the planning tools that uses graphical symbols to represent the flow of solving a problem so that is a use that is why we are using flowchart it is a solution model to a problem a solution model that means a model to solve a problem that's what solution model is right solution model okay it's a solution model to a problem and it's a planning tool to solve a problem of course it is just like algorithm right just like algorithm flowchart is also one of the planning tools okay yes so this is uh, the reason why we use alg what flowchart hope you understand yeah then uh, how to use flowchart how to use flowchart of course we uh, we have uh, understood flowchart uses graphical notation so how to use so just by okay uh, how to use means we have to understand we have to know uh, what are the symbols or which are the symbols we are using for this for constructing a flowchart right so we'll be heading to that so how to use flowchart using various symbols using various symbols okay so here is a first symbol it's called terminal okay this symbol is called terminal or start or stop so uh, in the case of uh, algorithm we have seen the first step is start right we will be writing start s t a r t but here we do not write start instead we will what we will be using this terminal or start and stop okay uh, the mathematical uh, name for this is ellipse you know that right ellipse okay the second symbol is rectangle and the name of that symbol is here in uh, flowchart is process or activity okay rectangle that's a symbol name actually uh, normally we, we will call this uh, symbol as what rectangle and here in a pro what uh, programming world or in a what we can say planning okay or in flowchart we can say we, we can call it as process or activity okay process or activity in sense uh, we can say adding two numbers so c equal to a plus b right and uh, multiplying two numbers c equal to a into b so we we'll, that, that's what a process is that's what the activity is okay yes next one is decision this is diamond right diamond symbol okay and this uh, symbol represents what decision decision like if a greater than b okay so that's a decision right it's a comparison operator a greater than b we'll be doing that anyway okay yes next one is parallelogram the symbol is parallelogram and this is used to represent input or output input or output in in the case of algorithm we have seen input a comma b then display c so uh, both for input and output we use this symbol okay parallelogram then arrow that shows flow line okay flow of uh, what uh, flow of the process right flow of the task that is to be solved okay that is solving yeah so that's a flow line so these are the symbols these are the symbols used to construct a flow chart so the first symbol is terminal or start or stop the symbol name is what ellipse second is rectangle and it's called process or activity and the third is decision diamond and fourth one is parallelogram that's a, a normal name okay common name for the symbol and it's what for input or output okay then finally uh, what uh, arrow line okay flow line yes used to show the flow of process okay now we are going to look at a pro, what a flow chart okay so uh, with this you'll be understanding it completely yes so it's a flow chart okay we, we have we have a program flow chart to find the product of two numbers in algorithm we have seen what addition of two numbers right here uh, it's uh, what product product of two numbers so okay even without looking at this you will be understanding you will be uh, what able to do this right yes so start and stop in the case of algorithm also we have seen uh, first step is start and the last step is stop yes but here we are not writing it right okay anyway we are writing it uh, for the sake of understanding but we are using mainly we use what symbol okay so this is a symbol terminal okay so start is represented in or represented as terminal start and stop okay so it's start then arrow line that shows the flow of what process 
or the flow of solving the problem okay so we have started the program first started it first then input a comma b you know the symbol to be used for input output here it is parallelogram right input output so uh, actually we are what multiplying two numbers so you know the very logic of uh, multiplying two numbers right we have to we have to start first then we have to input two values a and b then you can perform the operation c equal to a into b then you can display it out display c then finally stop the, these are the steps steps are very simple we have seen it uh, the, the what uh, addition steps in algorithm so it will be very easy for you so input a comma we, we are inputting two values a and b you can have any value in a and b right you can have uh, three in a and uh, four in b so a will have three b will have four and for the for another operation uh, for another student it can be what 2 comma 3 no problem okay so these are variables you can have any value in a and b no problem okay yes so input a comma b then c equal to a into b you know uh, it's represented in rectangle right this is a, a symbol process or activity so here is a main operation c equal to a into b it is represented in what process or activity then c will be getting the result right 3 into 4 12 Yes, 12 will be, will be stored here in C. Then, okay, uh, now we'll have the result in the software or in the program. And anyway, it has to, what, it is to be displayed out to the user, right? Yes, so display C, display C. And it's uh, also in, what, parallelogram, right? Input and output. Here, input a comma b and output a comma means uh, display C. Both are in, what, parallelogram, right? Yes, process means, okay. What input output not process input output okay yes finally stop yes so this is a flowchart sh that shows what the mul multiplication of two numbers the product of two numbers right yes start terminal then uh, input a comma b we inputting a comma b in a parallelogram okay input output then uh, in rectangle c equal to a into b that is the process or activity then uh, after getting the result in c that is 12 will be display display it in it out okay yes display c finally stop so this is a flowchart right hope you understood it well yes so this is all about flowchart let's have a quick uh, revision of uh, flowchart okay flowchart is nothing but a chart that shows what the steps to solve a problem problem in sense programming problem okay here is a formal definition it is a chart right it is a chart that graphically represent the detailed series of steps to solve a programming problem right yes then okay show the flow of uh, solving a problem it is a pictorial representation of algorithm we can say pictorial representation of algorithm algorithm is in textual format and flowchart is in graphical format right yes then uh, represent algorithm workflow okay yes then why to use solution model to a programming problem then planning tool of course one of the planning tools then how to use of course making use of various symbols uh, what terminal or start or stop then process or activity then decision then input output then flow line and we have uh, seen one program uh, or uh, one flowchart okay for multiplying two numbers product of two numbers finding the product start input a comma b c equal to a into b display c stop and we have used uh, various symbols right various symbols for start input uh, process right yes so this is all about flowchart and this is one of the most commonly used uh, algorithm means uh, planning tool okay planning tools okay this is what uh, means flowchart is one of the most commonly used planning tools in in the world of computer programming or at the time of designing a program or a software okay development of the software yeah so hope you understood it well and you can try it for uh, some other uh, purposes like uh, you can add you can use it for uh, what finding uh, the the biggest of two numbers right smallest of two numbers you can use it for uh, you can have a flowchart you can create a flowchart for adding two numbers adding three numbers no problem okay just write for uh, some other tasks as well right okay so this is all for the time being thank you thank you for watching have a nice day see you in the next video take care